Hey everyone, I'm back. And in this workshop, we're gonna go over how to track an object to your head in Lens Studio so that when you move, the objects move and it stays in the exact placement you want it to stay. This is really important for objects like hats or earrings, any kind of face accessory or things that go above the neck, including even things like neck tattoos or neck jewelry. So head tracking is a really important thing to understand when you're getting started, especially when you're trying to create something that tracks your head in Lens Studio. I know that navigating the interface can be a little confusing, but hopefully I'll take away that confusion and make it a little bit easier so you could track as many objects as you want to your head and make them have physics and anything else from there. So let's get started and jump into the workshop. What we're gonna do is import a cowboy hat that I created and we're going to set up a head tracker and track that object to the head using occlusion and some other cool features. So to get started, just click new project or open up a project that you're looking to add something onto the head and we're just gonna have to wait a moment for it to load. Once it loads, your screen should look like this. If it doesn't, you can go over to window panels and click default layout. Now with default layout selected, this is what it should look like. Sometimes I like to take this out by clicking on it and dragging it into this area. What you'll see here is the scene, the objects panel, the resources, and the inspector. Anytime you click on something in the objects panel, a way to modify it in the, or work with it in the inspector will pop up. Anything that you import into this uh, program will show up in your resources panel. So to get started, what I'm going to do is click the plus sign and type in head. We're gonna add a head binding. What this is, is allows you to place something on the head. So the head binding is tracked to the head and they already have a face occluder right here. So this already gets you started where anything you place under here is gonna start to track to the head. So what we're gonna do is go and import our hat file. And so I'm going to actually take this cowboy hat and I'm gonna import it right here, dragging it from my folder and dropping it under head binding. You're gonna see a pop-up that asks you to check off some of these boxes. Just leave this as is and click import. So now you can see that the object I imported is actually quite big, but you can see that it is tracked to the head. So I'm gonna scale this down by clicking on the cowboy hat and I'm gonna make this just try to see where it fits. So you can just adjust till you like the size. And now I'm going to take it and to move it around, you could either adjust the position manually here by clicking the arrows, or you could go and click up here on this navigation for the scene panel and click this arrow button, which allows you to move it in a 3D axis from up and down to sideways to front and back on a Z axis. And so I'm just gonna move it up here. And so now I'm wearing the hat, but you can see it's still a little bit small. The positioning of it though is pretty accurate. So I'm just gonna take the Z and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. And so now it's it's a pretty much a little bit better of a size. So I'm gonna make this 0.35. And so now I have the cowboy hat on. And so now we have an object tracked to the head. Once you um, have done that, you could actually adjust the rotation of it too to make it to your liking, and then you could continue moving it on the Y axis, Z axis, or X axis to make it look the way that you want it to look. So basically, just as I covered, anytime you want to import a, pro a 3D object into Lens Studio, one of the easiest ways for me is just to drag it directly under the head binding that I want to place it in. And the face occluder will be already set up. They have other occluders here that has soft occlusion, so you could have a soft edge, but this is an easy way to get started just by using this static face occluder. And again, you could adjust, you could adjust the size of the occluder as well to be a little bit wider. And you could move it up like that, or you can move it forward. So you could adjust the occluder just like that if you wanna change the way that it's set up. And so that's the basics of how you import something. Let's say you wanna add some materials to this. So I'll just go into that a little bit. So one of my favorite areas for materials in this program, aside from trying to make some of my own sometimes, is actually using the asset library. So right in this asset library, they have some amazing templates, or not templates, but assets that you could use, materials, VFX, ML, music, anything. So right in the materials section, you'll see some incredible materials from fur to uh, soft, fog or knit fabric or even leather. So I'm gonna take leather for this cowboy hat and I'm going to take some fur. 
and you could test it out sometimes things look better than others but it's great to just try out these different materials because they're so well done I'm also going to take the soap bubble material just to show you it so now going into this material we have let's see which one is which so our stars I'm going to actually go back into the asset library and in materials we have something called car which I also like so I'm going to take that and show you just how different these look so on these stars you could go and add a material and we're going to click the car paint and so now that gives it like a nice shiny sticker like material and you could also try out soap bubble which is kind of like a clear iridescent and then going here we have our default object texture we can make this one the fur and now it made the whole thing fur, so we're gonna actually jump out of that and go to leather and so you can see that the leather looks kind of cool um we're just gonna undo that for now i'm gonna take the top of the hat and i'm gonna make that leather and that looks pretty nice and you could go into that material by click selecting it and then you could adjust the color of the leather and so you could do something like this or like a cute pink and you can make the uv scale really big or really small <coughs> or really small so it looks like a really shiny cute looking leather and we can make this like a like a black and then for the brim you could either remove it or you could add that fur and adjust and sometimes these things don't work out you could take this uh, and you could resize it to be like very small so let's see if that looks a little bit better and so now we have like this really fuzzy, cool looking cowboy hat. And so I kind of like this because it looks kind of like, kind of like fire. Um, I would love to add some flames on the side of this hat. So that's basically how you add an object into Lens Studio and track it to your head and then customize the material. So I'll see you in the next workshop.